So we are here on Tenerife. There's Teide volcano in the distance. Teide is a relatively young volcano. It's about 200,000 years old and it grew inside a larger landslide scar. And uh, the last major eruption from Teide's summit was uh, in medieval times. This is what formed the lavas negras that uh, we see here on the upper slopes of Teide. And the pointy bit at the very top, that is also part of the Lavas Negras event. So uh, prior to the medieval eruption of the Lavas Negras, there was a larger crater on Teide and it wasn't quite that tall. And just in front of Teide, we can see this white mountain. This is Montaña Blanca, the white mountain. And this is a phonolite event that happened about 2000 years ago. There are several uh, lava domes, phonolithic lava domes in that part. And there was quite extensive white pumice deposition at the time and this is what we see here so this white pumice is quite widespread in the las cañadas caldera a little bit to the left here we see the initial uh, parts of the northeast rift zone the long arm of tenerife that goes towards the northeast and that is effectively a basaltic system hence we get these basaltic center cones there and uh, they're distributed along the rift zone and they cluster it uh, at quite a high density there and uh, on the very left now we're going to bring you over here is the uh, astrophysical and astronomical station here and uh, this is because uh, there's particularly clear skies here in the Canaries and uh, there's less light pollution so it's particularly good for astronomical uh, observations. So I'll bring you back to Teide and here it is in all its magnificence with uh, Montaña Blanca at the base and the Lavas Negros coming from the top.